and good morning from Mallorca. We are in Khan Picafort, right next to Alcudia, which is somewhere there. We have been here for two nights with Tutti. We are on a vacation. I haven't filmed much, just some clip from the beautiful balcony of the sunset. I can show them here. So we have a beautiful view from this pretty big balcony. It's like 25 square meters. We have a big sunbed for us, a jacuzzi, which is a really big plus. And yeah, there's actually a rooftop pool, but we haven't used it because this is so good. So the plan is to make a little bit different video this time. I'm gonna film from here and there, from the beautiful beaches and small cities, whatever we find and trying to make some kind of edit out of them. Yeah, I think it should be pretty easy because these views are, they are next level here. There are palm trees. We have like the most clear water of all time. I need to show you some clips later. But yeah, let's see what we can make here in Mallorca. <laughs> Supermercado. It's beautiful, but honestly, me and Dutti, we are not the biggest fans of places where there are 6,000 people around. <laughs> They're more of the, let's find places with no people type of people, so I think we're gonna find something way better later today. But usually we take some driving around, but I'm telling you, us is really worth it. But yeah, this is a nice little holiday village with way too many people. Must have boat tour of every single place I have been to. It's always a must. There are not so big boats, but these are pretty nice as well. And for sure, I'm gonna rent one, like a really small one here one day. Maybe next week, I don't know. That's a pretty nice one. That's a really nice one. We have a sex door here. That's like my new favorite of all. I think that's the 320 GDO. But yeah, that's designed by a Finnish guy and it's a really nice boat. Just was looking at those from the internet this morning. I wonder if I can get near to that boat somehow. Yeah, this is not the most fastest one here. We're not in Italy, but still feels like... I wish I was in a Porsche right now. Twisty roads in the mountains, that's a sign for Porsche. This guy sells a lot of ice cream. Now, there. This is pretty much the best car you can have here, except if we could change this Dolce Vita to Abarth, so we could get some pow pow pow, then it would be perfect, but this will do. Good job, Fiat. arrived to Calobra. This kind of view is like optimal view in my opinion. Mm. Very good, very good. Mm. Look at that boat. That's like a really big boat, but compared to these, it is so small. It is so crazy how big boats some of these guys have. Sick! We found a pretty good place here and you can probably jump from the cliff. It looks super deep. Yeah, this is better.
Salobra was a really nice place. Uh, the beach between the cliffs was super crowded, so we didn't swim there. We found the Calobra port and that was a really good place to swim. There was like 10, 20 people and you could also jump a little bit from there. But now we are doing the twisty stuff, the Fiat and going to the next place. I never thought that there would be this beautiful road, but yeah, let's continue. So yeah, today our mission is to go to Sandanui Market. Yesterday we were just at our hotel by the jacuzzi and in the sun. We didn't do much, but it was a really relaxing day. Science class. Now to the market. So sick. No way. But there's like there's such a long way. Wow. I would like to jump from here. And someone tell me what that sound is. I have never seen what makes that sound. That's probably my favorite here. One day we will be with our own boat here. That's pretty big drop. Not bad place for watching the sunset. Mission sunset done. New day, new adventure. We tried to get to the Cala Marques, but there were so many tourists that we decided to turn around and try to find some more quiet places. There are two other people, really nice. Just need the clear skies and it's perfect. Now, time to hit the water. Yeah, the water was super clear and there was some nice fishes and that boat came while I was diving there. The captain threw some bread there, so there was like a thousand fish. <laughs> was a, I think a local captain, he just laughed and showed me a thumbs up and it was really funny. But now I'm gonna lift the drone and let's see this from the sky. I think I saw a cave there. I'm gonna go and see that. It smells like absolute sh** in here. I think this is like a bat cave. Good view for the bats. If you've ever been to a bat cave, you know the smell. Well, this has the smell. Once we were in 
Lombok, Indonesia, and we went to this big bat cave. I remember the smell. It is horrible. <laughs> but the view is good, so... Like you can see, that's all waste from the bats. But for some reason, I don't see any. Maybe they are deeper inside the holes. Yeah. Nice little exploring. Just that pretty bad smell. <coughs> Ooh, that's it. That's enough for me. You have these caves all around, but it's pretty hard to access those if you don't have a boat. Time to see if I can sell to the the idea to walk two kilometers that way again and go to the next beach. Tutti asked for a beach with sand and easy access to water. So there's rocks and <laughs> rocks and kind of difficult to walk. So I think I should be good with this plan. But I don't know. Only time will tell. Let's see. I think Tutti was right. It was almost seven kilometers when you go there and back and it's 38 degrees warm. We only had two bottles of water. So. Now this is a view that I have dreamed about for quite a few years and on many trips. Now finally we rented a boat and came to paradise basically. And it is exactly as good as I hoped. The water is crystal clear and we have the mountains. It's quite windy today. <laughs> this is quite peaceful but when you go a little bit more out to the white it's like really big waves. It was almost empty when we came here, but now we have one, two, three, nine boats and us, so ten boats here. But yeah, it is beautiful. Second spot. Beautiful. Oh, I love this boat. This is oh, dream life. Dream life. Now time to hit the water again and let's go see some fishes. I wish I had my GoPro with me, but this time you can only imagine what it's like there. Thank you. So yeah, the boat trip was a success. So worth it. And now we are heading back to the pool. And you should definitely get boat with a bit more power if you come here. Because the 15 horsepower is not enough when there's like 2 meter waves. But it was still really good. But get a bigger engine next time.